Welcome to Step by Step Pumpkin Carving for Beginners. It's Halloween, and someone ate all of our Halloween decorations. Classic case of Who Done It? Funny Pumpkin or Hungry Demonte? You will be surprised. Before diving into the carving, there's a to-do list. Number one, plan ahead. This would be maybe a week before the actual day. Run a quick but helpful checklist. This may include looking up for carving ideas, ordering things you may need for decorating the pumpkin or carving, deciding a theme to match your costume, or watching a YouTube breakdown video for better insights. If you landed this video as part of your checklist, welcome! Do check out our other fun DIYs. Next step, the theme. You can discuss with your family to explore ideas. I have been reading Harry Potter books lately, so I want to design something inspired by the Harry Potter world. After much pondering, we chose Dementors. They have a simple appearance, but they're very spooky. Dementors are basically creatures who feed on your soul and life. I eat. Must stay away. Important note here. It's absolutely all right if you don't have a theme. Pumpkin carving is supposed to bring you joy and create memories with your family. It's not something you need to stress about. Pick any picture you find amusing. I'm going to go with the theme of our pumpkin feeding on something like this, inspired by Dementors. The next step would be to make a list of items. The VIP, a pumpkin. Based on your inspiration, pick the size of your pumpkin. We made sure our pumpkin was a decent size, which left plenty of space for us to draw the whole face. You'll also need a big bowl for the pumpkin waste. Tools. As a beginner, we decided to get this toolkit. It has different tools for scooping, scrapping, etc. Lighting equipment. We gathered a small disco light we got as a gift and some string lights. You can directly plug in the disco light. And it comes with battery operated the remote controls to control the lights. We also have this battery operated string light which displays mixed colored patterns. Last but not least, use a mat to avoid any messes. All the links for these materials are in the description below. Once we gathered everything, we started by making a cut on the top portion of the pumpkin to remove the stem part. This is for an easy access to place a candle or lighting inside the pumpkin. We proceeded to remove the insides of the pumpkin. It looked funny. This is a great way to avoid the pumpkin rotting and the decoration stays for a longer period of time. We found the tools very useful. Our pumpkin has a crooked smile. We drew teeth like this and proceeded to make cavities to show small gaps between teeth using our tools. We followed the same steps for the eyes and nose as well. We found this poor pony which fit just right in. We placed our party light inside the pumpkin like this and here's how it turned out. We hung the string light on an old lamp. I dressed up like a Dementor and we tried different lighting effects. We put a small skit together showcasing our efforts. Hope you give it a try and have much fun as we had. October 30th, 11.59 p.m. October 31st, 12 a.m. Like and subscribe. See you next time.